Hey everybody, quick intro for the video that you're about to watch that has nothing to do with the video. It, it really doesn't. Normally I have some like comedic humor to throw at you, or at least my brand of bad dad humor. But I was actually just sitting here thinking that, you know, I haven't really had a hobby I enjoyed for two years. And before everybody's like, oh bro, you play video games for a living. Yeah, well, you spend 10, 12 hours sitting in front of a computer editing and doing all this other stuff. You probably wouldn't enjoy it as a hobby anymore either. It's a job. With that in mind, one thing that I've always been passionate about is languages, and I'd like to get back into that and studying various languages. So if you know anybody or you yourself would like to help me with Mandarin and or German, hit me up because I would like to get back into that. I think it'd be a fun hobby for me to pick up and uh, help with the old mentals. So video time. Help me out, though, if you can do that. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey everybody! Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be discussing this account. This one. And whether little things like that, that frame, are worth all the work that goes into the game. Because I was thinking, does Scopely realize the amount of effort that has to go into going after these leaderboard accounts? I guess the obvious answer is yes. And that they don't care. And they just want us to suffer and be in pain. Anyway, we're going to take a look at that today because I am actually going after a leaderboard. I figured for the purpose of this experiment, I guess, I would focus on that. So I am currently going after the current one for the grinding of the Parisi Squares. Yeah, exciting. So the Parisi Squares event, round one was a solo milestone. Round two is a solo leaderboard event, which I'm currently grinding right now. Now I'm in the level 39 bracket on my server and I am in sixth place. Now the reason I'm trying to stay at least in the top 10 is you get a very pretty frame for iconic Tasha Yar frame if you manage to win. Now for my server, and I have seen that it varies from server to server, I'm able to participate as long as I get in the top 20, but I'm shooting to get into the top 10 to make sure that I get the frame. If I can get even better than that, fantastic. But part of that was because this is a two day, 48 hour grind, along with everything else that has to be done. Also, shout out, thank you, Scopely Overlords, for the ISS Jelly Brawl. For everything negative I want to say today, yes, I do sir. have to say thank yous because you I added these so at our request. We got two Parabellums, a Jelly Brawl, and this week has been ongoing a jelly event had a few people send me their rewards of them getting it so what i've been doing is basically just going around doing what you see in the background i have been grinding quite a bit so far i have been through three holes of each so six total deaths to get to my current position now this also is me doing this with two ships so i'm doing i'll show you the cruise so on my enterprise and enjoy the pretty skin i told you i was going to get it there it is everybody and i will say it does look fantastic on the PC client. It does look freaking beautiful. Shout out to the Scopely art team. This looks amazing. But anyway, I'm currently running, as you can see, Pike, Beverly, and Talon with a stack so that we've got Beverly stat stacked. And then I am running, ooh, need to send the auger after that bad boy. And then on the auger, I'm running Pike, Moreau, Chim with this being stacked with health first, then attack. And this one having the most survivability, even though I didn't get the skin. So this is what I've been going through so far. And I'm having success with it, but there's also a lot of cost to it. And with those six holes, basically every time I lose both ships, I spend about a million and a half Tritanium. So let's multiply that by three, and I'm around you know, six million, five and a half million Tritanium deep through one day of grinding to be in sixth place. Now that's basically just where I'm at right now as I go and try to hit this 40. Now, comparatively, you see my first place here, and then we're only one day in, so we're just going to have to keep going. One day in, the leader of mine is almost at 1 million points, literally five times higher than me. And I know Zarkon. Zarkon is a really good player, but they do not have that much better ships than me or anything or that much better officers. I'm running a very optimal set out because I'm the Picard crew. I've got Picard as captain. And I could maximize my points a little bit better if I was running Picard, Beverly, Chin, and maxing out the stats to get the closest mitigation as possible. But I'm going for more survivability in terms of I'm trying to make it last. So that's what we're doing here. And that's why I'm running Pike Moreau Chin. So if I flipped it, I probably could get a little bit better in points. But the point I was making is that they have five times higher than me. And I have seen them active in these systems a lot 
since the since yesterday the past you know 24 hours we've all been mostly in this one singular system because not many of us are able to punch higher like if i go to the 42 uh uncommons not uncommons it's not armada but i've got a log of me going against a 42 doomsday worm earlier using pike moreau chin on the auger and as you see i beat it but it also took about 10 percent of my hole with it so it was a very very hard hitting worm going up simply from 41s to 42s. Man, just be just the way that they're designed. So with that, I have not been doing as many of those bigger hits. So we're doing these smaller grinds, hitting these 39s through 41s to accrue the points that we need to score in this leaderboard. Now, not only is it costing me a lot in Tritanium, 5 million, which in the grand scheme isn't that much. It's about one set of my biotic refines a day. So I guess I'm oddly complaining too much the other thing is the time required in this grind is that i have spent hours now going through repair times and obviously repairing each one of these ships takes a very long time for me it takes about you know seven ish hours once i go through it and this is the the continual issue like if you want to win these leaderboards now i am very thankful that this particular leaderboard the parisi squares does have multiple winners. So like 10 people are going to get that frame instead of just the number one spot, which I guess I'm thankful for. It's not just this top spot that gets the frame. So there's going to be 10 of us in this bracket who end up with it. But I feel like leaderboards as a whole are great when they're this type of grind, but with the amount of grind I'm doing, I feel like I'm not getting a, a good enough return for the amount of time and resources I'm investing in it. And what I mean by that is, is you just saw the rewards. They're just not that impressive. You get a handful of event store loot and then a frame. And what I feel is that you should drastically, and then here's my repair cost, by the way, 737,000 and then 11 hours, 11 hours to repair the enterprise. And I'll let the helps bring that down a little bit, then I'll speed it up. But what I'm really getting at is I like the idea of a 48-hour grind event, but what I want is to separate the grinders from everybody else. And here's how you do that. Rank 1, super high reward. Like, it does scale. Like, rank 30 is 4,500. In my opinion, these leaderboards should have the first, second, third place should be way higher, 10 times higher than the, the lower levels because the way this bracket is set up, I could pretty easily just come in and smash. Now, I do like that this leaderboard is not based on how much I can spend. There's no spend advantage here. I can't go buy more points for this. Now, if you did get Picard, obviously there's a point bonus, but more people got Picard, according to Scopely, from the auction system and everything and through the event store than any other epic that's been sourced. I don't know how true that is because I haven't seen the numbers, but that was something that they told Ultimate DJ when we were unlocking Picard three months ago. So, hey, we got to take them at their word. That's what they said. So I'm assuming a lot of people have Picard. I know a lot of free-to-play players, we've been comparing notes on how the grind goes for this. And they're like, yeah, I use Picard, and this is where I got him. I didn't spend any money. So fantastic. And if you're in your event store and you've managed to finish off Picard, you know, maybe you didn't have him, but now you do, that's great. You know, I've only got Beverly Tier 2, which is one of the reasons that I'm not using Beverly Picard with Chin because it's a little bit harder for me to get that max mitigation. So anyway, all that to be said, I really feel like when they make these grinding leaderboards, this is truly a grind board. This is go out with your ships and be willing to blow up as much as possible and spend the resources to recoup yourself afterwards. This is the type of grinding leaderboard I actually like. Now I just don't feel like the rewards are that good. That's my main gripe. Like my rewards, if I get four through 10, I'm honestly not really mad at the 10,000. I'm actually fighting for the higher here. Because if you really want to incentivize people going after this event and competing, 18,000 event store currency does not translate a lot in this game. And let me show you how it doesn't translate a lot. Let's jump over to the event store. Let's use Beverly as an example. One shard is 2,000. So two days of grinding, 15, 20, 100 million tritanium, however much you spend, is worth nine Beverly shards, and that's it. That's the grind. That's the whole kit and caboodle for two days worth of hard work. And that's what I'm saying, like, it's just not enough. Now, I'm not saying that everything shouldn't be better, but I'm saying that when these leaderboards are built like this, where it's literally, you go out and be the best player in terms of you're wanting to grind the hardest, you should get an amazing reward for that. I still think that I should get a better reward for being fourth or fifth or sixth place. What am I right now? What, what rank am I? 
I'm in sixth place at 200,000 on my particular bracket. I'll jump back into the top five. Four through 10, since we just used that Beverly example, this is five Beverly shards. I think that's probably kind of fair. I'd like more, but I feel greedy arguing for more. But I feel like the people who are putting in the most work are kind of getting gypped. You know, rank one, why are they only getting nine Beverly shards? They're working way harder than I am. They've got way more time in this, way more resources. And the way all these brackets are set up, I just feel like the event store is a little bit lackluster, but maybe I'm kind of out of place here. I feel like some of these leaderboards need to be better. That way we can encourage people to do them. And if you don't want to do these type of leaderboards, that's completely okay. I get it. But I do. I, I really do want to have a grind style leaderboard because I can't compete with the spenders on my server. You know, right now I've got a minor loadout and everything, so I'm not super powerful, but I'm barely in the top 300. You know, this is ranked 291 right now. At my highest power, I'm at like 21 million. So I am not even in the top 200. If you think about my bracket, I'm going against a lot of people who are higher than me in terms of power, research. I need to be incentivized to go out there and do the work to be able to take those guys on. Because when the events come around that are all based on spending mats and sending resources and spending, uh, you know, armadas, I can't do those. But this I can do, but I want a reward that justifies the hours and hours of work it's going to take to do that. Anyway, those are my thoughts. And as always, I'm curious your thoughts as well, because I am going to push for this and I'm going to get that Tasha Yar frame to go with the Tasha Yar avatar that I don't have. Because in my avatars, I don't have Tasha Yar. Where's that frame? See, I missed out on the war frame and I missed out on the Jordy frame and I missed out on the Riker frame. I'm going to grind for this Tasha Yar frame, okay? I'm going to grind for it. And currently rocking this one, which I got yesterday because I've been pushing away teams and my server's still not caught on. So I got first place in my away teams leaderboard. So we're pushing it, y'all. We're pushing it. You know, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. I think the leaderboards that are this style are good, but if you don't agree, I need to know if you don't agree and tell me why. And also let me know what you think the reward should be for this style event. A true blue go out and blow up ships event. Grind, grind, grind. I think the reward should be much better for those who put in the hard work to be number one. Anyway, just a thought, but that's what we do here. Live long and prosper. Stay safe out there, Space Cowboys. Deuces. That's me. I'll catch you on the next episode. Star Trek. Fleet Command. Audi. I would like to request, request to Scopely to add more Klingons to the game. That is what I was told to do, and so I am doing it. Which, you know, is not maybe the best thing as a leader to just do what you're told, but it seems like a good request to make to add more Klingons. Everything is better with Klingons, am I right? I am right, because I'm a Klingon. Klingon, mach, tach, judge! We are Klingons, let it remain. All right, Laurel's on a roll today. She's very excited. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah! <laughs>